What's up, you guys? Today is April 19, 2024. I'm going to be working out with some brand new sandbags I got from Shogun Sport. I just filled them up yesterday. I have not used them. They are brand new. So I'm, I, uh, I'll be experimenting with this. It's a new design. I haven't used sandbags that are um, disc shaped like this, but I'm thinking I can do some pretty cool things with these just based on what they look like. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm just, I haven't worked out with sandbags since, since March 1st, so it's been a long time. And um, yeah, so let's just go with this and see what happens. Uh, these are tough for me. Uh, the thing that makes a sandbag really uh, difficult for me is obviously there's no handle to hold on to. So in a way, my body has to become like a giant hand. Like my arms become fingers, my body becomes the palm. Uh, so I just have to kind of, the way I have to hold on to this, this is a 50 pound bag, it's shaped like a disc. And what's, what I like about this shape is the first movement I like to warm up with, I call it, I call it a squat row, where I get in this kind of gorilla position here and I just get the bag started with my legs and I row it like this. It's a nice exercise that just allows me to start warming up my legs, my back, and my arms. Just get them all coordinated into one function. And it's in a range of motion that's pretty gentle. Okay, I don't know how many that was. Um, like all my workouts, I never warm up before I turn on the camera. I, uh, my warm up is just a lighter version of what I intend to do. So, we'll put that on the side. Uh, so, they also sent me a 75 pound disc like sandbag. So, I'm going to be doing one more set of squat rows with this. Okay. So I take a stance that is wide enough for me to accommodate the, the size of the sandbag. I'm going to hook my fingers under. This is one of the best, this ability to care, to hold something like this, this is another aspect of grip training that is sometimes overlooked. We tend to look at the grip in terms of this, but this gorilla grip, turning your hands into two shovels, being able to, and then as I accelerate the bag with my legs, having the grip, adjust to that. Okay. Once again, if you were counting, um, I wasn't. I have no idea how many reps I did. On my warm-ups, I do just enough work to activate and get everything moving, but I try not to get too, too tired because I like to save that energy for the heavier weight. So we're gonna put the 75 pounder on the side, coming back with the 100 pounder. Now this is no longer disc-like, this is more a traditional sandbag. What I do like about this one though, is these Shogun bags are more round. I've worked with other bags that were very, very good, but they're more cylindrical. To me, a rounder bag is just harder for me to hold on to in all angles. And if you're gonna work out with something like a sandbag, the more it resembles a round rock, 
in my opinion, the better. Okay, same thing, just a few squat rows to connect the legs to the back to the arms. Here we go. Okay, another squat rows. They prepare me for an exercise. I'm, if there's a better name for this, I don't know what it is. I call this a squat row to upright. So off of that squat row movement, oh fuck it, here I'll just show you. So from this squat row position, I gotta reshape this guy a little bit okay so once I'm gonna use a squat row to pull the bag onto my chest I'm gonna hold my hold it onto my chest and stand it up um, oftentimes when I do this I front wedging myself so the goal is to get this high enough on my chest so I don't actually grab my pants I know it sounds kind of silly but it's if, I, if my pants come with me, I kind of screwed it up. I got to get this really high up on the chest. All right, here we go. Whoa. All right. Let's try that again. Okay, so this is my first time trying this, so if it doesn't work out, then um, then who cares? At least we tried, but with sandbags, the problem I've had in the past is, you know, going from a hundred pound you know, I, I, I've had, uh, normally sandbags are sold 100 pounds, and then the next size that is sold is 150. And I'm not, uh, I'm not that strong with this, so that's a big jump for me. So, because these are shaped like uh, discs, I'm gonna add a, I'm gonna stack a 50 pound on top of that 75 pound bag and they kind of lay flat on each other. I just wanna see if I can get these two bags onto my chest and lift them out in front of me. All right, here we go. So that was 125 pounds. See if I can do one more. This time without getting my pants caught in that whole thing. Once again, for me, most of the value of sandbag training is two things. Training my grip, my forearms, and my adductor ability in the upper body to turn my whole body into like one giant hand and also in order to grip the bells in that or the bags in that way my knuckles are literally on the floor oftentimes with kettlebells barbells dumbbells due to the height of whatever you're lifting you get a break on some of that range of motion all right here we go Okay. Man, that's a rush. Okay. That went pretty cool. So, 
That's 125. <sighs> bring that, bring back the 100 pounder. <sighs> Shape this a little bit. Okay. And we're going to bring a fifty pounder on now. Now. I know the traditional way to bring a sandbag up to the up to shoulder height or just bring it off the floor is to lap it and then bring it up here and that is always going to be a good exercise but number one with two of these sandbags I don't think I can do that and once again I like to see if from the floor I can just stick it to me provide enough integrity to these two bags to then sort of like a, a good morning with a sandbag and with all of this weight out here in front of me it's a very worthwhile challenge this is a lot for me I have not done this so <laughs> uh, let's see shut up and go let's go okay And this weight, I think, I'll see if I can just. <sighs> Man. Yes, that's a head rush. Okay, another thing I haven't ever been able to do with other sandbag designs, I've had them go from 150 pounds to be between 200 and 220. Once again, that's a huge jump for me. And I had to take apart my 220 pound sandbag because I just never used it. That's what, that sand now went into these bags. Um, but let's see if we can go from 150 to 175 pounds. So I guess for me, this is the first adjustable sandbag set I've ever had. And so far it's working out pretty well. Anyway, let's see if we can get 175. The other day I did a video with a 175 pound dumbbell um, and I was able to lift it with one arm on a deadlift because it had a really nice grip on it, but this is a totally different 175 pounds. All right, here we go. Okay. That felt pretty good. 175. Now, <laughs> all right. Let's uh Let's bring out this guy. I'm gonna bring out 150 pound. So the biggest bag I got from Shogun is 150. They offered me a 200 pounder, but um, 
I don't deserve a 200 pounder yet because like I just said the other 220 pound bag I had I used it as a, a stool it was just too heavy for me so but let's see if we can 150 uh, all right so I'm gonna add the 50 pound disc to the 150 which allows me to go to 200 so <laughs> let's see what happens Whew. Okay. I was able to get it going, but um, it's interesting having two of these bags because in order for me to extend both of them out in this way, I have to squeeze them hard enough so that this disc doesn't slide off. And on that repetition, I didn't, I wasn't expecting that. Plus it was just really heavy. So, cause that's not really an excuse that, that at 200 pounds, this, this exercise is, it's kicking my ass. But let me see one more time if I can adjust my grip, turn these two bags into one bag and then Get that thing out here. Because having the weight up on the chest, this much mass, this is a very unique challenge um, for me. All right, let's go one more time. underneath all right here we go oh wow all right um I don't know if Shogun actually designed these sandbags to do this. Because when they send me things, I have ADHD, I just open them. I'm one of those guys that never reads instructions. I'm not sure if that's a good thing, but if I'm being honest, that's the way I roll. So, uh, okay. But as a modular or adjustable sandbag set, these seem to work very well in that capacity. Okay, so now I'm adding, got 150. I'm gonna add 75 to that. I am not gonna try the lift. I'm just gonna go for a deadlift as best as I can. Ooh. Okay. So this is the weight of a good sized man. And if I had to pick a guy up um, from the ground, to help them out, move them away from some kind of a dangerous situation. This is the grip I'd have to take. And uh, 
Let's see if I can at least get them off the ground. Here we go. Wow. I haven't lifted any sandbag over 200 pounds in perhaps a year. Cause, because it's heavy. Um, but being able to graduate the sandbag weight like these allow me to do It's a, it, it, this is gonna work out very well for me because uh, not being able to warm up to that 200 or 220 pound bag I had before is most of the reason why I didn't lift it that much. But being able to walk myself up to these weights is, that's pretty cool. Okay, so 150 at, 225. You know what? What the hell? <clears throat> I'm gonna go one last time here. Let's put the 100 pounder on. And um, I've never lifted a sandbag heavier than. 220 pounds and based on the bulk of this thing if I can just separate this from the ground I'll be happy all right I don't know how I see if you, you guys got to check out at Dave man caveman that guy's a stone lifter Every time I do something remotely like this, I think of what that guy does. And you gotta see at Dave Man Caveman lift his stones. All right, like I said, if I can just separate this from the earth, I'll be happy. Here we go. Oh. Holy shit. That was a head rush. Those disc sized bags, those are very cool. I would never, number one, yeah, being able to walk, walk the weight up with those, it's a much safer way for me to, to lift heavier sandbags. Let's just go one last time on that. These sandbags, I don't think there's any other implement that I can lift aside from another person that imposes such a physical toll on the totality of the body. There's nothing like these. I do like them. All right, anyway, today, Besides getting these cool sandbags, it's a special day for me because exactly four years ago today on April 19th of 2020, I was locked down and I had been stuck at home for over a month. And so on, on four years ago today, I put a camera out here and I did the first ever video 
and posted it to YouTube and that's what started everything that I'm doing up until this point today. So if you're here with me today, I want to thank you very, very much for, for your support and, um, and just being with me as a per one person to another um, means a lot to me. And uh, anyway, you guys have a, it's, it's Friday. You guys have a great uh, weekend. Love and aloha to you. Bye.